God gives the bitter ingredients purpose from strategies for stressful times. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 NLT Making cakes has made us appreciate that the individual ingredients for a cake don't taste good at all on their own. Some of them are quite bitter. If you eat flour by itself, it doesn't taste good. If you eat baking powder or raw egg or oil by itself, you'll be grossed out. Even the vanilla by itself doesn't taste good, none of the ingredients do. But if you mix them all together and bake it, it's delicious. The passage draws from Romans 8 verse 28, emphasizing that God orchestrates all things for the benefit of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. It clarifies that this promise doesn't imply that everything is inherently good but rather underscores that God can take the bitter and unpleasant elements of life and use them for his plan. Just as cake ingredients don't taste good individually but become delicious when mixed and baked, life's challenges and changes may seem bitter at times. Despite the difficulties and negativity, the message encourages readers not to become bitter but to trust that God is working behind the scenes ultimately leading to a sweeter outcome, which may be realized in heaven. It is important to remember faith and trust in God's divine plan, even when circumstances seem unappetizing or difficult to comprehend. Time to reflect. How does focusing on the things you don't understand make you bitter? What do you need to focus on in a time of major change? How will it help you see clearly? Why do you think God makes the promise of Romans 8.28 just for those who love and follow Him? Heavenly Father, Grant us the wisdom and faith to trust that you can turn life's bitter elements into a purposeful and ultimately sweet plan according to your divine purpose. In Jesus' name, amen.